Nowadays, as technology strengthens social bonds around the world, it becomes extremely important to understand a phenomenon that can ruin even the most harmonious communities, online hate. In this momentous article, we will present the three main reasons why people direct our hatred towards our digital beings. Anonymity as a catalyst of hate. When we enter the virtual world, we become invisible. This phenomenon of anonymity leads to situations where people dare to express their most negative emotions without consequences. From sowing hostility in social media comments to all mine attacks, anonymity acts like a flame under a pot of all, cooking hatred in the hearts of internet users. I've got a friend in me, sang the famous Randy Newman. But in the world of the internet, the company of anonymous observers can be as intimidating as it is bewildering. When you are invisible, you can be elusive, says internet psychologist Dr. N. Smith. And it is this elusiveness that often makes people feel empowered to express their darkest thoughts and feelings. Snowball effect in virtual reality. When one negative comment is posted, a dangerous spiral begins. Other internet users, seeing this interaction, also join the discussion, adding further layers of hatred and anger. This creates a snowball effect that may soon become an avalanche of hate. I'm sorry, but this is going too far, says John, one of the users of a popular internet forum. Often people forget that there are other people sitting behind the screen who also have feelings. That's easy to forget when all you see are tiny letters on a computer screen. Manipulation and disinformation, weapons of hate. In recent years, a new weapon has appeared in the arsenal of online hate, manipulation and disinformation. Using false information and manipulated images, people cause confusion, fuel conflicts and spread hatred online, sometimes even unconsciously. Media manipulation is one of the most serious threats to society. Today, says Jane, an internet researcher, People often do not check sources of information, which makes them easily influenced by manipulative content. In this way, hatred spreads like a plague, threatening social cohesion. Are we helpless against this wave of hatred online? Not completely, through education, promoting healthy online discussions, and creating awareness about the consequences of our actions in the virtual world. We can work together to counteract online hate and build a more collaborative and positive online society.